Okay guys, time for the next installment of the YOLO family on Difficulty Hardcore. That's the slot 3 in case you have just found out. It's not going great, so let's just find out. If it's your first time watching this, um, yeah, no one's technically died. A lot of people have just walked off. I don't know what that means. All that even says about my, you know, general personality. So here we go. Here's the situation. After everyone walked off, Anne, who is the sole survivor of the Yolo family, has a lot of things to do. But she's also incredibly stressed, incredibly traumatized, and will probably be rocking back and forth in no time at all. So really what I'd like to know is what causes trauma and stress. And I've been thinking about it, and the only thing I can think of is Paco the Goldfish has been dead a while. And maybe that's making everyone sad. I'd like you to harvest the nearest you had to it. Look, there's like the two plus trauma. But the trauma's gone down. The trauma is going back up. I'm still very confused. Might as well take apart Paco. I mean, he wasn't doing anything great. Right now, you're still getting traumatized. So my other idea was... Oh, we better stop that. I've just seen that you're probably going to suffocate. Uh, get the suit, dude. Fix this. Someone's at the door. What a breath of fresh air you don't have right now. Sure, let's trade. <coughs> We we'll take switches. We we'll take this. Well, we might as well trade the meat because we're going to get a load of meat anyway. Quick, cool, brilliant. Could have traded one of them pouches, since there's only one of us here right now. Right, fast forward. Oh, yeah, that's because we had, like, a bad situation of... Okay, you're probably just going to die because you have no oxygen. Suffocating, okay. Suffocating, suffocating. Oh, we can so do this. Come on. Yeah, I know you want to go to sleep. Gonna be close. Get to the surface. Run. Hello, who's there? Hi, Nancy. How are you? Me? No, we're great. Don't come in. Don't. No, no, you stay there. Would you like some meat? Would you like a backpack? Great. I'm so glad we made that happen. So this could be a short. Thing. Infection. You're infectinated. Oh. But the first aid kit kind of burnt down. So that would be good. Is your health going down at all? Or are we good? You don't seem to be dying from that. You are really stressed again. Trauma, trauma, trauma. Everything's looking pretty bad. So, wake up from the nightmare. Oh, no, you can't. You're in it. Um. Okay. Fixed the medicine cabinet. Oh, you take long to do everything. Back to bed for you then. Sleep. No, we, we don't want you freaking out. Just back to bed, Timmy. And there you have it. He's dead, Jim. 
So what do we learn from this? We learn that the Yolu family did only live once. They survived 29 days, which weren't bad for our first time round on Hardcore. Oh, he suffocated. Ah. So we could have actually done a bit better. Sure it might have been someone putting out the obvious there. And, and you didn't make it. And you didn't make it. So really what I'd like to know is like, what is causing the trauma? I mean, when we took out the dead goldfish, apparently that was like the happiest day of your miserable, pathetic life, is the fact that you didn't see your dead goldfish swimming anymore. Maybe that's because they were so traumatized about it's a goldfish. I mean, you know, if you weigh it up, apocalypse, dead goldfish, I know it's a close one, but the toss up might have to go with the apocalypse. I'm just, you know, call me crazy. So I think we'll have to have another bash at it. No pun intended. And, uh, you know, keep watching the series, guys, because they're obviously the next series coming up because I don't edit any of the mistakes. Day 29. The next one, well, that's the that's the bar now, isn't it? we got to beat 29. Got to find out why they're getting traumatized as well, though. But anyway, Anne was the only one that suffocated to death and actually died because everyone else just kind of walked away. They didn't die, they didn't commit suicide, they didn't get killed by a bear. They just walked away from the shelter. And was it really because of Paco was floating in the tank dead? And if it was, I really have to understand these priorities a little bit more. Walking outside in the apocalypse wasteland, or just one more minute of seeing my dead goldfish. <laughs> Where's my coat? So that's it, guys. Bit of a short one. <coughs> but who knows, next time round, we might just do it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you again soon if we're interested. So, if you've got any ideas of what I should name the next family, because I don't think it'll be the YOLO family, because they're dead. Anyway, thanks for watching.